AI product management became the hottest job ever recently in the tech industry, and tons of people want to break into product management at AI PM. However, most of them was left out in dark because the roles and responsibilities of AI product manager is very different than traditional product management. And I have personally launched award-winning AI products and also have helped many people land the AI product manager job. And some of them land head of product position in an AI company, getting paid over $400,000 per year. In this video, I'm gonna demonstrate the day in the life as AI product manager and how do we train AI model and how do we work with AI engineers so that you're able to see exactly what it look like as an AI product manager so that you're able to break into the AI space very easily. Hey guys, this is Dr. Nancy D, a director product and featured in Forbes. I've helped 100 people land a dream PM job offer in fan companies and unicorn startup and continue to get promoted as a product leader. In this channel, we cover free product management training and tech trends. Like and subscribe, watch our new video every Tuesday. First of all, let me give an overview regarding AI product I have launched in the past. I launched a product to use AI to reduce car crashes and for Smart Cities application, which was awarded as a Mayor's Best Practice Award in 2017. And this product was also quickly deployed in more than 10 different cities within half a year. It became one of the most famous product using AI to reduce car crashes and also saving thousands of people's lives and made me really, really proud of how we actually apply AI in real life. The specific AI technology we use is called machine vision, which is use the smart camera and capture real time video footage and automatically detect cars, pedestrians, and bikers and different objects inside of the intersections and give awards and analytics for cities to make changes in real time and making policy changes later on so that they are able to reduce car crashes as a whole. So this day in life as the AI product manager is assuming going backwards in 2017 when we're still building the product and what does this look like in a day in the life as a product manager? Now let's get started with 7 a.m. At 7 a.m., that's when I naturally wake up because my son is two year old right now. He will just wake up at seven and wakes me up and I start to feed my son, um, have a bonding time with him. Actually, this is at the happiest time ever during the day and how I start my day. I will skip workout because my morning is very busy with my son, but I will definitely drive my son to daycare, drop him off and give him a big hug. And my favorite morning drink is actually the cold press celery juice out of raw organic celery juice. It has so much nutrition, electrolyte, and clean my whole body. I recommend everybody to check it out. Then I get ready to start my work at 9 a.m. And my daily stand up with my engineering team is usually around 9.30 a.m. And at the time, I have three engineering teams that I need to interact with when I launch this AI product. And the first team is the inferencing a product use cases team because this is my engineering team that's more focused on how can they apply the AI, which is machine vision, in solving the problem of reducing car crashes. And they specialize in figuring out how can we take real-time video footage and directly use the trained AI model to detect the real life use cases such as jaywalking, cars running red light, near misses. Majority of time when I run daily stand up is with this specific inferencing team. The second engineering team I interface with is AI engineering team. And they are specialized in building the AI model and training those AI model before we apply it in the real life scenario. We don't do daily stand up, but we have weekly sync up. I'm gonna show you later regarding how do I interface with them later this afternoon. The third engineering team I interface with is the camera team because all our AI algorithm is running inside of a camera that was able to detect real life movement of the streets and cars and pedestrians. In this case, they are the hardware team also has embedded software running inside of the hardware. And I don't do daily standup with them either um, because hardware takes a longer time to develop and there's a separate hardware product manager and manage those hardware teams independently. During the daily standup, my AI inferencing team is going to follow the traditional sprint methodology and give me daily updates, how many user stories are working on, any kind of roadblocks. And this is the same as traditional PM. However, what's after is very different from traditional PM. At 10.30 a.m., I'm going to have a meeting with AI engineering team to check in on the detection algorithm and also the accuracy. 
Now let me give a real life demo and show you what AI machine vision look like. Well, there is some confidential information for the exact AI product I launched in the past. So I pulled some public available images, which demonstrate a very similar methodology how we detect those car crashes. And for example, and this is what an AI inside a smart camera is looking. It's able to turn the real life image into pixels that AI and also computer vision is able to recognize, such as pedestrians and cars, and track movement of where they were in the past and moving into a new direction. And then once the camera is able to see the real world, it's going to start getting trained using our data to say, well, a picture that looks like this is a car. A picture that looks like this is another car. A picture, an image like this, very tall, is a human. This is also human on the sidewalk. It can also detect like trees and traffic lights and different trucks, different type of vehicles as well. For example, this is a truck. The second thing what AI machine vision needs to do is to understand the accuracy of detection. You can see many different numbers right here, 0.9, 0.42. This means the confidence of what they think this is a car. The AI think 91% of the chance this is a car, 0.87% of the chance this is a human. And this is a detection accuracy that we need to continue to train our AI on. That's the purpose of me meeting the engineering team to see how fast they have been training the AI and how accurate those detection algorithms are. And then they can also report back to me regarding different kind of challenges they're facing. Could be they're running out of data set to train the AI model. Could be also the weather that leading to the low accuracy detection. And all of those, I am part of the conversation with our engineering team teams and help them to solve problems and make decisions. This makes AI product management so much more fun than, than traditional product managers. And then the engineering team will also show me how they train the AI model in a sandbox environment. Because the model is as good as it is, it must be tested out. But you can't test out on the street right away to see how cars run into pedestrians. That's, that's very bad. So we build a sandbox environment. We start to take the parking lot video image feeding into our AI algorithm and see if it can detect cars, pedestrians correctly, and also see the speed of cars and different kind of interactions between cars and pedestrians. When they show me the sandbox environment and doing the demo, sometimes they're going to show me a bunch of code in front of the computers. That made me very dizzy because I don't know how to code. Now it's time to take a lunch break. During my lunch time, I love to make my favorite Chinese noodle soup with cilantro and dry grandma hot sauce. That's just dream come true. But I always eat very fast and sometimes there are some uh, meetings during lunch times for me to attend and listen in. Another favorite part of my lunch routine is actually check out my son's messages in the app that we use called Brightwell to communicate with the daycare, which they always show really cute pictures of my son. So I find it really happy in the middle of the day, have a little bit treat seeing my son's pictures. Now it is 1 p.m. It's time to do learning and research as an AI product manager because not only we try to just write requirement, we also need to help engineering team to solve problems and really think about what other external vendors and resources we can bring in. For example, one of the challenges my engineering team told me is that it will take them forever to train the foundation model. So they would rather to have some pre-trained model so that they can modify some pre-trained model to develop their AI algorithm on top of it much faster. And we also need to find specific chips that can run inside of the smart camera that can power very complex AI algorithm. So therefore, I started to research on NVIDIA and actually we end up partner with NVIDIA to build application on top of the AI engine. Now let's take a look at NVIDIA website. When we use NVIDIA's technology in 2017, when I built my very first AI Smart Cities product, NVIDIA has a very different kind of product offerings. And right now, like five years later, they already improved their own foundation AI model as well. But when you go to NVIDIA website like this, they have many different platforms and the solutions they already built. AI training, data analytics, inferencing, this is amazing what they have right now, different kind of AI model services. So basically, as AI product manager, I need to look up regarding different vendors, different solutions, based on the challenges my engineering team is facing, and then reach out to the AI team within NVIDIA, such as you click 
get started and learn more, dive deeper, and really do some experiment and demo to see if any of the foundation models they provided, any solutions they had, can actually solve our problem or not. So this requires lots of research and learning of AI knowledge, and also understand different kind of competitors in the market right now. You may ask me, hey Nancy, sounds like you already know AI very well, that's why you can become an AI product manager. The answer is no. Actually, I'm learning lots of AI knowledge on the job, and before I became an AI PM, I also took many different AI classes, technical classes out there, because I believe that to become a great product manager, it's very important to invest in ourselves, invest into learning, because for learning, you can always generate 10 times return of the tuition you put into learning. So how much do I really know about AI? I know enough to be dangerous. But in reality, I don't know how to code, and my PhD is in material science and engineering. I literally start from scratch. And that's why I recommend many of you guys take any kind of AI classes, even before you become a product manager in AI space, so that you have a great confidence to build amazing product to change people's lives using AI. And in this video I filmed last time, we are talking about the only four way to become an AI product manager. And over there I talk many more different kind of AI courses and skills you develop before you even become a product manager. And I'm also going to link in the description regarding different kind of AI courses I recommend and different kind of technology courses in general that you can download to take on your own as well. And those courses really designed to help you to know enough to become dangerous. Check the link in the description, you'll find out more of the courses. Now, after two hours research and technical learning, problem solving, it's time for me to write some product management requirement. And now it's around 3 p.m. I will just go into Jira and start writing lots of product management requirements. And I still recommend everybody to learn Jira. And this is the basic and foundation of everybody being able to write requirement put into Jira. And recently I also discovered another AI tool that's so amazing was able to automate the requirement writing process as a product manager using AI. And it's called Product Monkey. So let's take a look how it works. So this is Product Monkey's website. The way it works is if you drag any pictures, it's able to generate requirement use stories for you. So within 30 seconds, it generated several, uh, two, actually two uh, user stories for me and have user stories, descriptions, acceptance criteria, and give me another one. Of course, this is based on Twitter, assuming I'm trying to build Twitter, uh, and then you upload the image of Twitter and wrote some requirement for you automatically. Um, however, the challenge I see right now is it's only going to be, of course, two user stories. And for Twitter, you should have hundreds of user stories. You can write a book about it seriously because the Twitter is a very complex software environment. But this is good enough for inspirations for product managers or even entry-level product managers. Take a look regarding, oh, maybe I missed some kind of product requirements, and so they can speed up your thinking process. I really love those kind of innovation in the AI space, creating tools to help product managers to save time and do the job much better. I'm gonna put the link of the product in the description. You can check it out yourself. Of course, it's still at the very beginning of testing the product and there's many rooms for improvement, but it's great to get started uh, on the AI trend right now. Uh, now it's 5 p.m. It's my family time. My husband will pick up my son from daycare. I spend lots of time with him, feed him, put him to bed. And then I continue to work around 9 p.m. and try to wrap up on emails and other tasks. I didn't finish during the day. If you're thinking about how to break into AI product management with step-by-step -step guide, and make sure to check out this video where I talk about the only four ways to become an AI product manager with no experience, and also make sure to check out in the description of this video with different kind of AI courses and different tech courses I recommend for all of you guys to brush up your skills and invest in yourself. This is Dr. Nancy D from PM Accelerator.io. I'm gonna see you soon in my next video right here.